Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can see more of my videos. You can also follow me on Twitch, on Instagram, and on Twitter, which I will put on the screen. And I will also put a link to them in the description below. You can also join my Discord server. I will put the link to it in the description as well. All right guys, so in this video, I am gonna teach you guys how to use your PlayStation 4 controller and use it to play Fortnite on your PC. It's pretty easy. So the first thing you need to do is to connect your PlayStation 4 controller to your PC. And you can do that by either using the cable and plugging one end to your PS4 controller and just plug the other end to your PC and then just press the home button. After that, it should be ready to use. Now I'm gonna teach you how to do it wirelessly. So in order to connect your controller wirelessly, here's what you need to do. So go down here to the search bar and type Bluetooth and uh, open this up, Bluetooth and other devices. Make sure you turn Bluetooth on. And after you turn it on, what you need to do is press and hold the home button and the share button on your controller at the same time. And just press and hold it until the controller starts blinking. And as you can see, now it's blinking. So now what you need to do is click over here, add Bluetooth or other device and go to Bluetooth. And as you can see right here, it says wireless controller. So just click that. And now it says your device is ready to go. So uh, just click done. And now your controller is connected. As you can see, mine is lit up. So that means it is connected now. All right, so go ahead and open up Steam and click over here to Steam, Settings, Controller, General Controller Settings, and just make sure you uncheck everything except for the PlayStation Configuration Support. Okay, so just uncheck everything except this, and that's it. All right, so now what you need to do is add Epic Games to your Steam Launcher. So to do that, here's what you need to do. So click over here to add a game, add a non-Steam game, and try to look for Epic Games here. If you can't find it here, what you can do is click browse and just try to find it on your computer if you know where it is. But if you can't find it here, you can just go ahead and open up File Explorer, go to this PC and search for Epic Games Launcher. Uh, and as you can see, it's right here. Don't click it. Make sure that you right click open file location and as you can see this is the location so what you need to do is click over here and copy the location link so right click and copy and then paste it here then open and it should be here now right here so just make sure you click this and then click open and you can close both of these if you like and as you can see now there's a check mark on Epic Games Launcher. So after that, just click Add Selected Programs. And then when you go to your library, as you can see now, Epic Games Launcher is here in your Steam library. All right, so for this next step, this is really important, okay? And you have to do this every single time, okay? So make sure Epic Games Launcher is closed. Make sure it's not open. Make sure you're not signed into Epic Games and you have to open Epic Games through Steam only. And I'm gonna show you how to do just that. So go ahead and click big picture mode. And then once you're here, you can uh, use your controller to navigate. So let's go ahead and go to library, go to games and look for Epic Games. Your shortcut and click play. And then it's gonna open up Epic Games through Steam, okay? Make sure you open Epic Games through Steam. Do not open it from your desktop or anywhere else. So right here, now you can use your mouse and keyboard to sign in. So go ahead and sign in with your email and password. All right, so once you're signed in, you can go ahead and go to the library and just open up Fortnite from here. All right, so now that we have the game open, as you can see, I can navigate using my controller. And if I touch my mouse, you can see my cursor over here. And as soon as I touch any button on the PS4 controller, 
the cursor disappears and um, now I can use my controller again and you can actually switch between the two whenever you want to. Well, let's go ahead and just do creative for now. And here I am guys. Now I am playing Fortnite on my PC using my controller as you can see. And something to know is that if you move your mouse, you can actually, I can actually walk with my controller and move her and like look around using my mouse so i'm basically using both my mouse and my controller at the same time honestly i didn't even know you can do that until today but you know you can you can switch between the two if you want to if you want to use your keyboard you can just use your keyboard if you want to switch to your controller you can switch to controller completely up to you so that is pretty much it that's all that you need to do to play fortnite on your pc using your ps4 controller all right, so when you're done using your controller and you want to disconnect it, here's what you need to do. So go ahead and go back to Bluetooth and other devices settings. And then look for wireless controller. And as you can see, it says connected. So all you need to do is click this, remove device, and just click yes. And after you do this, if you want to use your PlayStation 4 controller on your PlayStation 4 again, you have to connect it with the cable to your ps4 again all right so that's it for this video thank you guys so much for watching i hope this video was helpful and if it was make sure to give this video a like comment down below and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos if you want to follow me on twitter and on instagram i will put them on the screen and if you want to watch me play games on twitch i will also put it on the screen and they will all be linked in the description below and remember, if you want to join my Discord server, I will also put the link to it in the description as well. So guys, thank you so much again for watching. I will see you guys on the next video. Later.